genetic information to be passed on from a parent cell to a daughter cell, the parental DNA must be copied into two identical daughter DNA molecules. When you have completed this exercise, you should understand the chemistry of DNA synthesis, understand the mechanism of catalysis by DNA polymerase, and understand the proofreading function of DNA polymerase. DNA synthesis requires deoxynucleoside triphosphates and a primer template junction. Each of the four DNTPs, DGTP, DCTP, DATP, and DTTP, has three phosphoryl groups which are attached via the 5' prime hydroxyl of the 2' prime deoxyribose. The phosphoryl group closest to the ribose is the alpha phosphate. The middle group is the beta phosphate, and the outermost group is the gamma phosphate. The primer template junction has two key components. The template provides the single stranded DNA to be copied. The primer provides a free 3' prime hydroxyl at which a DNTP can be added. The 3' prime hydroxyl of the primer strand attacks the alpha phosphoryl group of the incoming DNTP in a nucleophilic substitution reaction. The leaving group for the reaction is pyrophosphate, which is formed from the beta and gamma phosphoryl groups of the DNTP. The free energy change for this reaction is rather small. However, additional free energy is provided by the rapid hydrolysis of the pyrophosphate into two phosphate groups. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme pyrophosphatase. The process can then be repeated with the 3' prime hydroxyl of the newly added DNTP serving as the nucleophile. The chemistry of DNA synthesis requires that DNA be made in a polar fashion. In biological polymerization, DNA is always made by extending the 3' prime end of the primer strand. The template strand directs which of the four possible DNTPs is added. During replication, the DNTP that base pairs with the template strand is highly favored for addition to the primer strand. The main enzyme of DNA synthesis is DNA polymerase. The DNA substrate sits in a large cleft of the DNA polymerase that resembles a partially closed right hand. Based on the analogy to a hand, three domains of the polymerase called the palm, fingers, and thumb have been described. The palm domain houses the active site for DNA synthesis. The active site of DNA polymerase is able to distinguish between RNTPs and DNTPs, even though RNTPs are present at approximately tenfold higher concentration in the cell. The nucleotide binding pocket is too small to accommodate the presence of a 2' prime hydroxyl on the incoming nucleotide, allowing the polymerase to sterically exclude RNTPs. Correct base pairing is also required for catalysis. If an incorrect base pair forms, the alpha phosphoryl group of the DNTP cannot properly align with the 3' prime hydroxyl of the primer strand. Once the proper DNTP is bound in the pocket, the reaction can continue. The palm domain also binds two divalent metal ions. These metal ions are crucial for DNA polymerization activity. Once a correct base pair is formed between the incoming DNTP and the template, the finger domain moves to enclose the DNTP. This conformational change brings the divalent metal ions into the correct positions to function. Metal ion A helps to deprotonate the 3' prime hydroxyl of the primer, producing an oxyanion to attack the alpha phosphate of the incoming DNTP. Metal ion B coordinates the negative charges of the beta and gamma phosphates of the DNTP and stabilizes the pyrophosphate leaving group. Lysine and arginine residues on the finger domain also help to stabilize the pyrophosphate. And, through stacking interactions, a tyrosine residue attached to the fingers helps to hold the DNTP in place for catalysis. The finger domain also plays a second role. The finger domain associates with the template region, leading to a nearly 90 degree turn of the phosphodiester backbone of the template immediately after the active site.
This confirmation of the template leaves only a single template base in the active site, preventing any confusion as to which base is ready to pair with the next nucleotide to be added. In contrast to the fingers and the palm, the thumb domain is not intimately involved in catalysis. Instead, the thumb interacts with the DNA that has been most recently synthesized. This serves to maintain the correct position of the primer template junction in the active site and reduce the rate of dissociation of the polymerase from the DNA substrate. Another function of the palm domain is proofreading. The palm region makes extensive hydrogen bond contacts with the base pairs in the minor groove of the newly synthesized DNA. These contacts are not base specific, but they only form if the recently added nucleotides are correctly base paired. In the rare event that a mismatched base pair is added, the distorted geometry of the substrate causes the replication rate to slow dramatically. The palm domain is now not able to make contacts with the minor groove, and consequently, the primer template junction is free to move about and interact with the exonuclease site. The exonuclease site removes incorrectly base paired nucleotides, starting from a 3' DNA end and is therefore called a proofreading exonuclease. Removal of the incorrectly paired base is a matter of kinetics. With a mismatched base, the diminished replication rate is now slower than the exonuclease rate, and therefore, excision of the mismatched base is greatly favored over polymerization on top of the mismatch. After this potential mutation is corrected, the primer template junction slides back into the DNA polymerase site, and replication continues. How well have you learned the mechanism of DNA synthesis and the functions of DNA polymerase? In this section, you will find out.